Hey guys, I just wanted to make a follow-up video to my RTR uh, video that I made yesterday uh, regarding the event that Bob Wells holds every year uh, in Arizona. After a comment I received and after watching the rest of that video, in my spirit, there's something, I have an unrest. I do not think that event is planned properly and I do not think it would be safe. You know, I have concerns and I just want to say for the record, I would caution anyone for going. I think Bob Wells is, is, from what I've seen, you never know somebody until you really know. I think he's a good man. I think he's presented his uh, theory very well on how he would like to organize this event. I think he's being as responsible as possible. But to know human nature and to expect 500, 1,000 people or more, and basically just saying that I am responsible for them and I'll take accountability and I'll call a ranger if something goes wrong, that, that's, that's irresponsible. Because if you know human nature, you put a thousand people or something together in an event, it only takes one. You need law enforcement there. You need extra uh, garbage containment. You you know you need bathroom services. Even if people have RVs, I mean, you need certain. You need official things like corn, quarantined off, and you know official places where people park. And, and you're not going to be able to just go you think you know you're gonna you know go up to a campsite on somebody who's there who lives like you know what i mean under no rules their whole life and you're gonna say hey look the problem is bob wells made a very reasonably stated video what i've learned in life you can say the most reasonable thing to an unreasonable person and it's bad things are gonna happen you you know bob wells Try to go make a video to the guy from North Korea and tell him how you want world peace and see what he says. It's the same thing if you're in a campsite and then you got to call a ranger. You, you put other people in harm when you ask a thousand plus people to come in one event. You don't have law officers there. You don't have trash containment there. You don't have, you know, certain base. You almost need ambulances stationed there. I mean, they have ambulances at Friday Night Football. I mean, you know, obviously for the football thing and everything. But I don't know. In my opinion, um, I just have a concern. I think Bob Wells is a great man. I think 99.9% .9 of the people that go are great men and women. Uh, but I think that when you ask that many people to come in one location and you don't have, you know, first responders there, you don't have... It's, it's an event. It, it, that's what I said last night. It's a, it's a conference. It's a concert. It's an event. And anytime you have an event, you have a responsibility not to say, I own this event, but to put the different, uh, you know, law enforcement, to put different, you know what I mean, quarantine areas to structure that thing properly. Not just to meet in the middle of the desert and say, look, I take responsibility uh, for this campground. And, and if there's a problem, I'll call a ranger. I mean, by the time you call a ranger and it gets there, it's too late. Maybe nothing will happen. Uh, but as something grows, you have to realize that. And you have to realize Bob Wells and other people are very reasonable, but you only have to deal with one unreasonable person. And and that's a huge liability, man. I mean, and so I, I hear him that he's taking responsibility, but I, I have a serious concern about that. And I know some people get mad at me because they embrace this. And I embrace what he's trying to do and what he does do, but it's irresponsible in my opinion. And I would caution anyone from going. I mean, I, I said, like, it's an event. I, I even caution myself to go to an event when there is the proper first responders and law enforcement. And there's the proper setup there. Because anytime you get around that many people, anything can happen, man. And so, I would just caution you. I have concerns about it, and it doesn't sit well with my spirit. I respect Bob Wells again. I respect people that go there that are positive, but... Only takes one person. So what's the answer? The answer is you need to set that thing up like a serious event that it is. It's not just a campground where everybody's going to be roasting, roasting uh, you know what I mean, s'mores. It's not. And that's, you know, he's thinking it could be like that. But it, when you have that many people, it just will never be. Human nature. Human nature. To know human nature is to know there's going to be an issue. And doesn't look good in my opinion. I hope it goes well, but I wanted to share that further thoughts, man. It's pressing on my spirit. I got a comment, you know, like somebody said, you know, somebody said that, you know, they're going to bring a keg of beer there, the first couple people topless if women want to drink. I mean, that, that mindset is there. Now, the guy, I think, who left a comment on my page, I think he was just playing around. But that mindset, when you get that many people together, that's the mindset. We're going to get drunk and we want, you know, some people to be topless. And, you know, that's it's dangerous in my opinion. All right, stay inspired.